Goldman Sachs on the daily chart showing weakness with a series of lower highs and also lower lows. We had some resistance right around 377 with some previous analysis. You can add these pullbacks from that pivot low to pivot high projecting and start to sell off against that area. Now I like to evaluate this area right here to see if there is some potential resistance park in that area. Clicking from this pivot low to pivot high projecting, that would be my first price relationship. Over here I have another pullback that I can use, similar in dollar amount. That's the second price relationship. Next I'm going to use my fib retracements. Clicking from that pivot high to pivot low provides me with a 50% retracement that overlaps one of the symmetry resistance work that I just did. Now if we're looking on the hourly chart, this is another reason why I like about this chart. It's respecting that 200 moving average on the hourly chart. So in addition to this pocket of potential resistance, you have that 200 moving average that's also working in your favor to the downside, to the short side. On the 15 minute time frame, you can see that we also have a trigger to go short, okay? What you can do here, not financial advice, you can position size here correctly, perhaps with a call credit spread, but you gotta set your stop above that cluster resistance. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.